I've been, I've been arguing for some time now that we're just looking for consciousness in the wrong place. We're going about thinking of the problem of consciousness in, in the wrong way. Um, now, it's no controversy that we don't yet, as I, as I just mentioned a little while ago, that we don't have a good theory of consciousness. There's no, there's no question that we don't yet have anything like a standard model of consciousness. Um, and yet, so much research in this area seems constrained by assumptions that are optional. Namely, the assumption that, the, that um, consciousness happens in the brain, or that consciousness must happen inside of us. Um, the brain is not an isolated physical system. Uh, the brain is embedded in the body, and the body is situated in an environment, and the environment and, and, the, and, the, and the living organism is actively in exchange with its environment. So maybe we need to extend our account of where the consciousness is happening. And if we do that, um, if we sort of take a wider angle view of, of what the field is where we're going to try to build up an explanation, um, I, I believe we can actually begin to understand better um, how consciousness arises as a natural phenomenon. And the solution is to realize that it arises not as the product of a certain internal action, but rather something that depends on the brain, body, and the world in a dynamic exchange. So when I say that consciousness is not something that happens inside us, but something we do, I'm gesturing in the, in the direction of this idea that consciousness needs to be understood in a dynamic world involving way, that organisms are these um, are these locuses of, of dynamic flow and exchange. Um, but I've also tried to develop specific theoretical models of specific phenomena within the domain of consciousness that, that exemplify this, um, and specifically that try to show that that sometimes the, the qualitative character of an experience can, can actually be explained if you look at the way in which the experience is situated in the context of the, of the animal or perceiver's organized activity, organized movement and interaction with the environment.